Hello there! Welcome to your MLB Playoff Recap for Sunday, October 7th, 2018. We have a lot to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about the Milwaukee Brewers' domination of the Colorado Rockies for the majority of their series. I'm also going to talk to you about how the Atlanta Braves look like they were going to save the series and they did, but almost jumped to the Los Angeles Dodgers last night. And we'll quickly preview today's action because uh, I'm excited for the Yankees later tonight. And the Houston Astros possibly sweeping the Cleveland Indians. And not to mention game four between Atlanta and Los Angeles tonight. So... Let's recap our action from yesterday. Those are the Milwaukee Brewers. Okay, this website's been this website today has been very glitchy. There we go. There we go. That's what we wanted. To the Milwaukee Brewers, congratulations on sweeping the Rockies. It seems that your long road and your surprising season which nobody thought you were going to even be above 500, has led you to the promised land. If you make it to the NLCS, it's a very big deal, folks. The Milwaukee Brewers will have their first chance ever to get a National League pennant for the first time since 2011 when they lost to the St. Louis Cardinals in the NLCS. The last time the Brewers were even in the NLCS, Prince Fielder was the first baseman. So a lot has changed. In how many years now, if I can count correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven years. Ironically, so I had to do the math in my head, of course. So, look about the look at the Rockies. Only four hits yesterday. I mean, that's just incredible. Corbin Burns, that's the guy. It looked like the Brewers went with the bullpen the majority of the game. So here's how the scoring started. Travis Shaw got into a fielder's choice in the first inning. And in the fourth inning, Jesus Aguilar homered to left field on the first pitch he saw. The sixth inning was interesting. It was the inning of Granderson. As uh, Oberg's balk pitcher for the Rockies. Mike Boustakis was able to score and Kratz was able to move the third. And on Oldberg's wide, wild pitch, Kratz was able to score. So uh, you add the numbers up from that inning, right? Making sure that's correct. Yeah, that's pretty much two unearned runs that the Brewers were able to tally on. And then the icing on the cake, the ninth inning, Orlando Asia and Keon Braxton sealed this series. Thus, later this week, we know the Milwaukee Brewers will be playing for the National League pennant. Now, on to an interesting development in this series. Thankfully, I learned the trick on how to fix this uh, thing. <laughs> there we go. That's going to that's gonna fix it. So last night, the Braves had a commanding 5 nothing lead in the second inning. L.A. was able to tally on two more runs, and we'll get into it right now. We'll go into it. So what happened was, second inning, um, Sean Newcomb was able to walk, was able to, uh, based on loss, meaning um, Nick Marquez was able to score and the bases were loaded in that situation. But here's the interesting thing. Ron Arcuna, or if I get his name wrong, I apologize, everyone. R Mr. Arcuna was able to hit a grand slam, thus giving the Braves a 5-0 lead. But the third inning looked interesting. As Justin Turner got an RBI single, 
Acuna Jr. had a fielding error. Chris Taylor was able to score. Fifth inning, Chris Taylor hit a, two, uh, a home run. Mike Muncie hit a home run. So in that inning, you want to add the numbers up? I'll give you the numbers here. So the game was tied at five. The game was tied at five. L.A. was able to get five runs back in two innings, ironically, if you look at the numbers. Here's the two. Here's the three. If you do the opposite, three plus two is five. Basic math right there. But here's the icing on the cake that pretty much saved the series for the Atlanta Braves. Bottom of the sixth inning, Freddie Freeman pretty much saved the Atlanta Braves season for one night. He saved it for one night, everyone. Thus, we will have a game four of the National League Divisional Series between the LA Dodgers and the Atlanta Braves. And if the Braves uh, win today, they will send the series back to Los Angeles on Thursday night for a deciding game five. Let's go into today's action. We'll go to the National League first because we have a potential situation for a game five on Thursday. So if you want to watch today's games, um, American League, of course, is on TBS. And I believe if there is a game five on Thursday, that would mean game five would be in L.A. no matter what. But both games would be on FS1 in the National League. And I'm pretty sure for the CS, um, the games are probably going to be on FS1 or on the main Fox network for a couple games. It's possible, but... We'll have to see when the schedule comes out for that series. But I know the American League will definitely be on TBS. So today we have um, a forecast 75 degrees in Atlanta. I want to see if it's going to rain in Atlanta. We'll pull up the forecast in just a second. See if the weather plays a factor. I know in, I know in Cleveland today, the weather's not going to play a factor. And here in New York, I know the weather doesn't play a factor either because we are expecting a big storm coming on Thursday but I'll, I'll do that in the weather update later on when I upload that but today's starting pitchers for this game four will be Rich Hill for the Dodgers and Mike Fulton new I can't even pronounce his name Fulton news I, I can't pronounce this so that's the matchup for today Meanwhile, American League action, you got Houston and Cleveland. I'm not worried about the... Ooh, okay, folks. We got an interesting situation here. Chance of a thunderstorm during the game today. That might be interesting to keep an eye on. I uh, previewed it yesterday. Keiko taking on Clevenger. And today for the Yankees-Red Sox, which, of course, I will be watching... Rick Porcel taking on Luis Severino. So I figured to wrap up this video, we will check the forecast for Cleveland. And we will check the forecast for Atlanta. Just quickly want to check and see what the score is saying. Yeah, it's not supposed to rain in New York today. I, I know for a fact it's not supposed to rain in New York today. It's not supposed to rain here in New York until Thursday. That I know for a fact. Okay, let's see what we got for the forecast. Ah, okay. There is a chance of a thunderstorm at 7 o'clock tonight in Cleveland. But I don't know why they're saying that on uh, the score app. Oh, it's very odd. I'm going to check Atlanta. Cloudy there right now as I'm recording this. Ooh, this is not good, folks. We may have a delayed start today. There is a 35% chance of rain at 4 o'clock. So it may be that we have a situation today in Atlanta that the game... They're going to get the game in. It's just that... It's probably going to start late, from what I'm going to assume. And then, lastly, to wrap it up, we will just check the Bronx. 
see what the forecast is for today and tomorrow in the Bronx. You know, I figured I'll check Cleveland one more time to see the weather there. Because if there is a game four, that would be tomorrow. So, let me just see. I know there's definitely going to be a game four tomorrow for Yankees-Boston. Alright, so, at the moment, it looks like there's going to be no rain here in New York. It's just going to be cloudy all day here in New York today. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Interesting indeed. It's going to be overcast today and tomorrow here in New York. Good news is the weather played out in New York. Thank goodness. Now, if there is a, a game five, um, I'm going to have to talk about the Boston forecast on uh, Wednesday. If there is going to be a game five in Boston. But I'm hoping the Yankees can win the next two today and tomorrow and wrap up the series and hopefully play Cleveland or Houston. Let's just get the forecast wrapped up. Alright, looks like Tuesday should be fine too in Cleveland. Surprisingly, it's going to be warm in Cleveland. It's not this... It's not supposed to be this warm in Cleveland, but apparently it is. <clears throat> so the weather in Cleveland, the weather in New York shouldn't be a problem. It's just that Atlanta should be worried about their weather because, um, once again, it could rain at 4 o'clock. But keeping in mind, you don't have to worry about the weather in Atlanta until if there, you know, if Atlanta somehow wins the next two when they go to the NLCS, but just remember, this game can start late today, so if you go into the game in Atlanta, just be prepared that it might start late. So, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, please take care.